thoroughly professional performance on Saturday, I thought. Yeah, it was. Um, obviously, we had to pay due respect to Dorchester. Uh, you know, so it could have been a potential banana skin for us, but <coughs> we did a professional job. Um, and the pleasing aspect was we got seven goals, which was, you know, is a, is a feel-good factor for the squad. How much does that boost confidence for your league program? It does, um, because you know we've we've been guilty in recent weeks of missing some guilty chances, uh, and it was nice to to see the ball hit the back end now on a regular occurrence. Um, and it's credit to the boys because we. It could have been a few more than that as well, obviously, with, with chances that we had. But it was a pleasing thing that when we went to the 4 1, we didn't stop at that and think that was it. You know, we'd, we'd, we then showed a bit of a ruthless side, and, you know, Ellis goes and grabs his hat trick and Monkey gets another one. That was that was the most pleasing thing for me about Saturday. Yeah, Ellis, hat trick. I mean, he's, <coughs> had, he's had a difficult time for the last year or so, but he appears to have worked hard and knuckled down and got his chance on Saturday. Yeah, from what I can understand, he's. Well, he has been a, a bit of a loose cannon. Um, there's obviously the, there's talent with Ellis, uh, and it's up to him to mature it and to bring it out. And um, as a senior pro, we could, all we can do is put arm around him when he's getting a bit too big for his boots, bring him back down. Um, but I, I've you know, I've been I've gone really well with him this year. Um, you know, it's been frustrating times for him where he thinks he should be playing, but obviously he sat on the bench and. He's come on a couple of times and <clears throat> made an impact in certain games and got his vital points. You know, you, you look at Lincoln, you look at Halifax, where where he did that. Um, and the pleasing aspect for me is, is is he's wanting to learn as well. He's asking questions as well. I'd be more concerned if he was just coming in and and going straight home. But uh, the fact that he, he comes to me and, and asks questions, asks other questions of the senior lads as well, wants to stay out and do extra bits of shooting. You know, bodes well for the future and hopefully he can have a long time in the game. Quite a, there's a few senior pros in the squad, you, you, yourself <coughs> and, yeah. and and a few younger players. Do you feel an obligation to bring the, to help those younger players? Of course. I, when when I was a younger lad, I had senior pros that done exactly the same for me. It's it's, it's the football way of life, really. You know, the older you get, the, the the more you should help the the younger lads. Because in the, the day, I've had a career of 15 years now. I want. Those ones down in the changing rooms, your, your Matty Taylors, your Jake Goslins, your, obviously your Ellis, Clarkey, Tom Lockyer, you know, the, there's boys with talent down there and I want them to go and ahead and, you know, and fulfil a potential. I didn't quite do that when I was their age, you know, was, when you break in you have a lot of people look at you. Um, I, I mean, I've always been a lower, le lower level league player and I can accept that, but for them, I, I, you know, I try to tell them that don't accept it, you know, be try and go to as high as possible, you, you find the right level. And the gaffer touched on it a little bit on Saturday in, in terms of Tom Lockyer, <coughs> that you know, if he, he was to you know, work on different aspects of the game, there's no reason to say why he couldn't play in the championship because he is a very good defender. Um, so, yeah, as a senior pro, we, that, that's part of the responsibility that we take on as well. And, and you seem to have a very tight, closely knit group. <coughs> We do, but I think that's probably because the squad is small as well. Everyone gets on with everyone, everyone socialises with everyone. Um, yeah, we've not got bad characters in the change rooms, and I think if we did, then you know, I think I'd like to know that there's enough about us to, to stamp that out. Um, I think in, in certain in recent games, I think you, you, you've seen it come through. You know, we've had a couple of horrid performances, so to speak, but let's get the togetherness of the squad of you know not only helped us win games, we've also come back into games as well. So if we can keep that then the main thing it is is that, you know, the more the season goes on and, you know, people sometimes they're in the team, sometimes they're out of the teams, it, you know, it's up to us to, to, to keep them part of it because it's easy for them to be left away to the side and be left to you know to their own devices. That's when a rift becomes in a squad. But I'm thankful that we've not got that here. And I guess with your involvement in successful teams in the past, you've had that in, in all of those sides. Always, yeah. You, you'll never find a team that doesn't do well who haven't got a good team spirit. Um, you know, it's always a cliche, but the team spirit can can win you points. You know, sometimes it's not about skill, it's not about hard work. It's you know, it's, it's sometimes you, you're willing to to grab someone by next year and you know put your face in front of a shop because that person who you just you've helped. Like bail out of making a mistake, you know. Those are the things that's going to help you win 
games of football and ultimately if you win enough games of football you end up getting promoted. Goals have been shared around, aren't they? They were again on Saturday, and you you managed to uh, grab one. Do you ever score a tap in? <laughs> yeah, I do. As I say, it's only here I think that I've actually managed to score outside the box a couple of times. But um, no, it was it was pleasing. Um, yeah, it's always nice. I've been a while, a little bit now. I think it's five or six games. I've kind of you know the gaffers adopted a more. <clears throat> Defensive-minded approach for us as midfielders at the moment. The way we're the, the way we're playing is more to uh, you know to to solidify really um, how we our, our team shape. Uh, so I was fortunate to be able to pop out. I don't think he was too happy. I was allowed out my box. Um, and, yeah, and I was thankful the boy at the back of that. I noticed on Saturday when Maka came on, you, you gave him the, the armband. Yeah. You've always said it was a temporary thing for you until he got back in the side. It is, yeah. Um, Maka's the, the club captain. Uh, I'm vice, vice captain. Sorry, Maka's team captain. I'm vice captain, and uh, and Steve's obviously club captain. So, you know, he, he come on the pitch, and rightfully he, he becomes captain. Then, so I give him the armband. It's not, it's not a big deal. A bit, you know, we're uh, we're professionals. So as soon as he comes on, he takes that role. You've enjoyed leading the side, then. Of course, I've yeah, I've done it for as I said, I've done it for many years. Um, I, I know what's expected of me um, when when you get the armband, but I, d I don't think that when you get an armband, it changes you as a person or changes you as a player. Just just means you've got a tight arm. <laughs> it just means your left arm looks bigger than your right arm for a little bit. <laughs> and you you obviously you play with a smile on your face. You seem to be enjoying your football. Would that be fair to say? I am. Yeah, I've had a, as I said, I've, I've touched on it before, and I don't want to dwell into the past, but I've had a difficult two years down at Torquay um, mainly probably due to you know I, I could sense that the club was in a bit of disarray uh, but it, it was very difficult because when you're there at a club for a certain amount of time you, you tend to become a bit of a scapegoat um, and I think myself and a, a couple of others who, who had been there you know fingers were pointed at us being as the, the reasons for relegation um, and I think you know, it, it's very tough to take. You, you tend not to enjoy what you do. I mean, I, I love playing football. Every person down there loves playing football. You know, you probably did when you were kids as well. And you, you know, the, the opportunity you've got now, and, and the time when obviously I spoke to Daryl in the summer, and I thought to myself, well, you know, maybe it is time for a change. Maybe it's something to be able to reinvigorate myself. And I think. Being in a different environment has helped me. You know, it's, it's not. I've not been able to sit back and relax. And you know, I've got five thousand people every other week. And if I'm not on, if I'm not on my game, that's it. That they're going to let us know. Which you know, which it gives you an added bit of spice. And I think a bit of spice I've been missing. But yeah, I've always enjoyed playing football. You know, even when you win, you lose. But I think the older I get, the more experienced I get. I just think you you have to stay on that level keel. And I don't get too excited when we win. I don't get. Obviously, I'm disappointed when we lose, but I try to stay at that level because I think if you go up and down, it leads to disaster. It's funny, back to uh, <coughs> league action on Saturday against Telford. They drew in the cup, so they've got a midweek game. Uh, it's a decent place to go, isn't it? They've got a decent stadium. Yeah, got a lovely place to go. Uh, fortunate enough to have scored them when I was on loan at Nuneaton. Um, long range? No, it was a header, a yeah. tapping header, yeah. Um, there were days when I was allowed to <laughs> jump in the box as well. But um, no, it's. It is going to be tough. Um, they've picked up some good results of late. Uh, obviously, the, the the big scalp they got recently was Torquay when they beat them four three there. So we know it's going to be a difficult encounter. It was when they played at uh, at the Mem. So yeah, it's one that we have to this approach the same way we did at Dorchester. Keep a uh, keep a good shape, and when you get the opportunity, take it. You know, make sure we come back with three points because right now. Um, we're we're in a good position, but we could be in a better position. We all know that. Uh, obviously, the, the promotion is not gained in October, November. It's gained in gained in <coughs> April. Sorry, but you know, if it, we we have to win games like this if, if we want to achieve our aspirations this year. Um, you know, games like this, it, you know, we really need to dig in. Should, sorry, should I ask you about the cup the cup draw tonight? Any team you fancy? Any any particular place? I really you want to don't go? care. No? As long as it's not miles away up north. <laughs> <laughs> we could sit, we could stay down at the Mem. Um, so you don't uh, want gates out of way then? No, I'd rather not, to be honest with you. No, <laughs> I've, done, I've done with travelling, about eight years of travelling, so the um, yeah, a, a nice home time at the Mem would be good.